you know, I can actually remember being a kid and getting so excited when I found out they were making a Super Mario Brothers movie. And I finally got to see it when it came out on VHS. And for those of you who don't know what a VHS is, back in the 1990s, we had these things like big plastic black square tapes. Look how big this is now. There was like no scene selection. You had to fast forward and rewind the movie when you were done with it. I remember Blockbuster Video actually had like the little sticker they put on the tape that said like be kind please rewind and when you like rented a tape and you got home and it wasn't rewound you felt so violated for some reason i don't think i ever rewound my tapes what was the worst that could happen Believe it or not, Super Mario Brothers is actually a really important movie. Why? Because it perfectly represents every single thing that could go wrong with the video game adaption. I mean, you gotta know something's going wrong with the movie when your script gets passed to a new writer nine times. Nine times. Nine times. But what really confuses me is why some of these actors took these roles. Bob Hoskins was a great actor, and at the time, he was becoming very popular in films. So it wasn't like he was a struggling actor who was just clinging to any role he could get his hands on. And when he agreed to do Super Mario Brothers, he actually had no idea that it was based on a video game. So was a terribly written script about two plumbers from Brooklyn fighting evolved dinosaurs in an alternate dimension to save a princess just too enticing to pass up? Unless, of course, maybe there was some other reason. And just watching the great Dennis Hopper having to read some of these lines is nothing but cringeworthy. Without that piece, the meteorite lays dormant. I'll not be able to merge the dimensions. But I guess John liked it. I thought the story was great. I thought it was a combination of the Wizard of Oz meets Blade Runner with the action, the, the drama, and the fairy tale quality of it. Funny thing is, he looks more like Luigi in that interview than he did throughout the entire movie. So the whole movie is about King Koopa, and he's trying to find this piece of a meteorite so that he can merge the lizard dimension with our dimension. So this college chick has it. She's supposed to be Daisy. So Koopa sends out these guys to kidnap her and bring her back to their dimension. Luigi goes after her because he's like apparently in love with her. Even though the extent of their relationship to that point was pretty much having an awkward conversation eating some spaghetti, walking down the street, looking at some bones together. Still better than Twilight. But anyways, the rest of this movie is pretty much just Mario and Luigi running around in this other dimension. None of which looks at all like anything I've seen in a Mario game. And of course, they run into a bunch of characters which you'll surely recognize. You got Toad. I guess that's supposed to be a Goomba. There's Yoshi. Which, to be honest, I think that's actually pretty close. King Koopa, also known as Bowser. And yes... For all of you who didn't know, they are actually the same character and the bub which is probably the only thing that they got right in this movie. Except that they were much bigger in the game. So anyways, they gotta find this, like, meteor necklace thing. And somehow this chick gets it. So the solution is to have Mario steal it while he's dancing with her. I mean, what is this? Hey, how about instead you have a scene with some action in it? Like a fight scene? Or some kind of chase sequence? Pretty much anything other than this. And the worst part is, after Mario steals the necklace, that chick helps them escape? I guess that dance sequence was enough to make her fall in love with him. Still better than Twilight. And to add insult to injury, we only see Mario and Luigi finally get into their costumes two-thirds of the way into the movie? I mean, what the f*** is that? I really wish this was one of those movies that was so bad it's good, but it's not. It's one of those movies that's so bad it's sad. Bob Hoskins even said in an interview in 2007 that Super Mario Brothers was the worst thing he's ever done. It was a f***ing nightmare. The whole experience was a nightmare. It had a husband and wife team directing whose arrogance had been mistaken for talent. After so many weeks, their own agent told them to get off the set. F***ing nightmare. F***ing idiots. The movie was so incredibly mishandled and misdirected that I don't think you could make a worse video game adaption if you tried. And the worst part is at the end of the movie, they leave it open for a sequel. Which of course never happened because the movie only made back half of its budget. So the movie wasn't done right. But in all honesty, I don't think a live action version of Super Mario Brothers can be done right. Maybe an animated film. I mean, there used to be a show. But a live action film? I mean, think for a second if they actually did stick with 
the source material. That could have been even worse. I mean, video games back then weren't written like they are now. I mean, there's no real story here. The whole thing is just get the girl, hit this, spit that, bounce on this, eat that, in, out, up, down. But now that I think about it, the game's starting to sound like it was better suited for that other film adaption. Don't worry, I'll never let George touch you.